How are you doing? So, since the weather is uh, not so good for the last uh, few weeks, it doesn't seem to be getting better. Um, I haven't been with the kayak out uh, over a month. So, this video will be a short one about changing, replacing the, the rudder cable of the pilot. It comes with uh, an OK cable, which is, uh, I think, some sort of uh, fabric cable. So I got uh, something that I was recommended by, which is a stainless steel wire cable. And uh, I'll show you the parts and then how I'm going to uh, change it and uh, reinstall the new cable. So first of all, let me cut the wire here, this wire here, as you can see it's not a stainless steel, I don't know what it is, but uh, okay, it has been cut, now there is a Ellen wrench here that uh, holding the cable. I'll open it after. I'll open the the rudder control. Taking this one, this part out. Put it aside. See how much uh, dirt came in. This uh, place car park uh, went through some uh, digging as a preparation for uh, construction and some of this uh, debris I see got anywhere on the on the kayak. Okay, so this is one, this is two. We will have to clean it two bolts. out so this is number 10 I thought it's an Allen key but it's not it's uh, like a star more like a star shape number 10 anyway that's the right key for these two uh, stoppers that you need to release that goes to the back of the rudder so now once that's released the rudder plate the rudder plate also has the same uh, screw you release it now it's released and now you can pull both of them out you pull both of them out and you remove the cable from the thread. This is the wire, it's uh, 5 uh, meter and uh, I bought it for a few quids and I bought the, it's one and a half millimeter uh, thickness and it's called 719. That basically uh, means that it's flexible, flexible enough, it's not too uh, stiff and it's from a place in the UK called Techni, T E C N I. I will post it in the in the in the box below, so you can find exactly if you would like to get uh, one of these and a few stoppers for the cable. So now, what we should do? That goes like this. So. You enter one side and 
you feed obviously it goes very very nice inside till it comes out and we're going to feed the other tube both of them out is the way it goes inside now you want to feed it back here obviously you don't need all that slack I'll cut it away cut it off now you want to make sure that it's going to be aligned in the middle so in my case the the stopper for the rudder cab cable was was towards the bolt the screw was towards the rudder I didn't have an uh, access to it so I I took this out I took this out to replace the to change the direction and now I'll put it back in like that it's just a simple stopper like that now this one is on the right side so you can see I have a excess which here I don't have access so I'll do the same thing here There is a there is a rubber a shim on, a, on it. Just change the direction. Go back in. Yeah. Okay. So now you want to align everything to be straight. That needs to be straight, it's very important that that are gonna sit in the middle. Then I'll close this one. You want to be able to create a tension as much as possible and then to lock it. Now you can lock this. Now uh, a tip that I got from another uh, angler on YouTube, I think his name is Mike264 uh, or something like that, he's from the United States. Uh, he recommended since this uh, plate sits on the, the steering uh, plate, the inner one, and it's rubbing obviously against it that rubs against this you can see even the marks when you turn so he recommended to lift it ever so slightly a few millimeter like this with a so it doesn't sit straight on the lower plate and it even will make the the, the steering a bit smoother I'm gonna use uh, again the Skoll Lebel 134 PTFE. It's a dry lubricant. Um, I'll give it a try because this is rubbing against the control plate, the steering plate. So a bit of this here.
So that's what I'm going to do now. And we're going to give it a try. Let's see how it is. That's it strong. Okay, put it inside like this and okay, so job done. This is now compared to what it was, this is like a, like a butter. It's very very smooth as I said I put some of the dry lubricant and also I lifted a little bit the the plate with the small shims washers and you can see how it work it's very very nice put the stopper Thank you for watching, more video to come, please subscribe and uh, share, like, notification bell and I'll see you next time on the water, tight lines.